Yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7 GH. Yes, Chelsea Football Club today played in the EFL Cup and they did very well. Um, scoring Barrow FC 5-0. At the Stamford Bridge, uh, Christopher Nkunku with a hat-trick. English-born Ghanaian, Josh Echampon, featured for the uh, Chelsea Football Club in that game. How did he fare? How good was he? And then on the day, how good was Chelsea Football Club? We look at that. Uh, Richard Ofori has penned down an emotional message for Orlando Pirates fans. After several years of spending time with them, he's finally leaving the club to join new club in um, South Africa. And we are going to talk to you about that also. And then we look at some other stories. Have you seen the new Accra Sports Stadium pitch, Maza? Uh, we've already told you on this cha channel that if a pitch is green, it, especially in Ghana and Africa, it doesn't necessarily mean that a pitch is of good quality. No, 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 no. If you find a green pitch in Ghana and Africa, it doesn't mean the pitch is of good quality. But then the new pictures and videos we are getting from the Accra Sports Stadium is something to behold. It looks like uh, serious um, works are ongoing at the Accra Sports Stadium and the Cape Coast Stadium, as I told you in the afternoon. Do want to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell, and then select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any. It's always a great pleasure to have you join us. Now, we've already told you that Richard Ofori is leaving Orlando Paris, in fact, is he left there as a free agent and he's going to join Amazulu FC in South Africa. And this is the message he has penned down for the fans of Orlando Pirates. The past couple of years have been years of grace and power. I couldn't have been happier, more robust. Focus, the motivated Dan in a place I've called home. Being part of the Orlando Pirates family brought new challenges, joy, hurdles, and energy. The time has come uh, for me to open a new chapter in my career. I want to thank the entire Orlando Pirates family, the staff, technical team, medical staff, board members, management, and players. I couldn't have asked for a better working environment than this. It's been a fantastic action packed. Four years of my journey, we won and lost games, but every game felt like our lives depended on it. It gave me so much energy and character to see um, a group of individuals fighting week in and out of their last breath. I have picked at least, uh, I've picked a leaf and will carry it everywhere I go. To the fans, supporters, family and friends, you all hold a special place in my heart. I never take it. For granted and on and on, Richard O'Forey's um, emotional message to the Orlando Pirates fans um, after he's leaving them, or yes, yes, after he left them, and he's going to join Amazulu FC in South Africa. He says, "See you soon, uh, Richard O'Forey." Yeah, that's the that's by way of information. All right, yes, let's talk to you about Chelsea Football Club today. Chelsea Football Club started their campaign in the EFL Cup. In fact, they won versus Barrow FC 5-0. Manchester City won at home versus Watford 2-1. Um, Leicester City drew 0-0, but then they, was, um, they won on penalties. Aston Villa went away. Uh, Why Combe won this day, one to one, and the rest. So, Chelsea Football Club won 5 0 emphatic performance from them. Um, and Christopher Nkunku got his first hat trick for the club. And Kofasi Nkunku, small teams in Kwana Nkunku. Small teams, small teams, small teams, small teams. But what do you have to say about all of those issues? Bios and fa a fantastic performance. And Neto was on the score sheet. Jao Felix assist to Jao Felix and the my Nkunku manager. You know what an assist that was fantastic assist he lifted the ball over the defenders and then uh, we saw um christopher and kunku scoring a goal chelsea looks to be on good form last season one problem they had was consistency they were not winning games in a consistent manner they win today they will draw and lose and win and it was some way but then this season it looks like they are finding that sort of consistency because they've won their last three away games they've come to win this game versus efl um, um versus um barrow fc in the efl cup they've qualified for the conference league um and yes they are they are on top form this weekend chelsea football club is playing versus brighton and hope 
Albion and we will see how they will if they can continue the consistency and it will very it will be very important for them to continue the consistency it's good news that we saw the likes of uh, Neto scoring and then playing very well um Felix already Jao Felix I've mentioned his name he also played extremely well and then Christopher Ikunku one player who also did very well coming on later in the game around the 60 years 66 minute or so is Josh a champion English born Ghanaian who played for Chelsea Football Club in their 5-0 win over e um, Barrow FC. The talented teenager made it into the Blues match day squad for the round 32 encounter of the cup competition but missed out on a starting role. However, his manager Enzo Mariska introduced him into the game to replace Axel De Sassi in the 63rd minute with a chance to play almost 30 minutes of the cup match. Josh Echampon put on a fine display in the Chelsea defense and helped the English Premier League outfit to keep a clean sheet at full time the blues went on a rampage on the ninth led by christopher and kunku in the attack as the forward bagged a sensational half trick two goals in the first half and a third in the second half an own goal by paul fireman made matters worse for barrow fc before a pedro neto strike made a win for chelsea um, emphatic while Ghanaian josh a champion featured for chelsea in the win Emil Aqua, another English, um, English born Ghanaian, um, also featured for Barrow FC in that particular encounter at the Stamford Bridge. Josh Champon, after the game, after some 27 minutes played, he had 19 over 21 successful passes. He had one over two long balls success rates, three over six successful du um, dual battles, and then three successful tackles, one successful interception. Shit. What a game. What a 27 minutes for English-born Ghanaian. Josh, a champion in Chelsea Football Club's 5-0 win over Barrow FC in the EFL Cup. This afternoon, I was talking to you about the fact that Ghana is looking to host our next game versus Sudan in Ghana here. And we are looking at either um, Accra Sports Stadium or the Cape Coast Stadium. These are latest pictures from the Accra Sports Stadium. And they are very, very nice. But a green page doesn't mean the pitch is a quality one. That is the fact. Um, but if you look at the pitch, the likes of Insua Treman and, and, and Samates were playing on when they were playing um, the African competitions. And if you look at this current pitch, I tell you, we, we've seen a lot of improvement in, the, in it. And if you go to Cape Coast, it's about the same thing. They are trying their best to keep the two stadiums um, in good condition so that if CAF comes, or when CAF comes to inspect the, the issue, the pictures now, they will at least give us one of them to play our matches there. So that is the situation. Um, Accra Sports Stadium looks like it's getting ready. Per, per the pictures, unless you step on it, you don't know. But per the pictures, it looks like it's getting ready for the Ghana Black Stars versus Sudanese game. Just like I told you, if you go to Cape Coast, it's the same situation. Do want to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell, and then select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section. It's always a great pleasure. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.